I go watch Keith Urban play guitar, and I'm like, all right, I'm never going to be. <laughs> I mean, never going to be Keith Urban on guitar. Not even going to, you know. I mean, watching him play guitar in person is like, it just makes you want to not play guitar anymore. <laughs> it took me 10 years to meet somebody that I can finally call a true friend in music. Please welcome the man of the night, Mr. Keith Urban. It's Keith. Not only is he a great artist, he's one of my favorite artists on the radio and making records. He's a great guy. He's just one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. And he's one of the most fantastic guitar players that, have, that has ever played a guitar. And I don't Without think a doubt. lot of people realize. I mean, they understand it because he plays. But just his guitar playing alone would have made him a star. And he's got everything else that goes along with it. So yeah. to have him play guitar on this was pretty special to me. Keith Urban. Now, not many people know this, but he is an incredible guitarist. He gets overlooked for guitar all the time for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but I, uh, I made a video recently about James Taylor and how much of an impact James Taylor had on my life. And I thought I'd do another one today about Keith Urban and the impact he's had on my life as well. My life as a, uh, a musician and a songwriter, um, it, it's amazing. Uh, so I became a Keith fan back in like 2005, probably. I saw the Living Right Now DVD, um, aging myself here, and was blown away by how well he could play and sing. And then I fell in love with the songs and then I bought records. And then I've been an avid fan ever since. Uh, I've tried to convert as many people as possible along the way because he's just that good. He's, he's so amazing. Uh, now, yeah, as I said, I've been a fan since then. I've seen Keith live probably about six times, uh, and it's been, you know, an electric show. I've, you know, I've taken my wife, I've taken my daughter, I've been with friends, uh, I've been with, you know, family. It's, um, it's always worth doing. If you get to see Keith live, it, it's worth it. Uh, and I actually got to meet Keith at one of these concerts. Uh, and I don't have the photo, which is so annoying, but I was there with my friend Rob, uh, and we went and talked about amps and gear and guitars, and we are backstage, and he was with a security guard next to him, and I was expecting to be, you know, hurried along, um, but we had a good chat for like, you know, 10 minutes talking about uh, the, the amps he was using. He was using high watt amps on tour at the time, which was, you know, with something different for him then. He's tried all sorts of things. He's always up for something fresh. Uh, and I was expecting to, you know, get told to move along, get other people here. Uh, but Keith was just happy to chat, which was, you know, so memorable. Um, my friend Rob and I, you know, we just sort of walked away from that going, what a nice man. You know, it was, it was so nice and pleasant that we got that opportunity to do that. So, um, yeah, very, very, something very special. Uh, now, a couple of things that you may not have known about Keith, and there's some really good performances, which I'll, I'll try and link up to, but I don't, I don't know if they're around and they'll sort of, you know, I saw them in the moment. Uh, one of them was uh, he did uh, Jolene with John Mayer and Nora Jones, for I think it was the Grammys years ago. Uh, that's amazing. Um, he did a show uh, on country music television in the States. They have these evenings called CMT Crossroads which is where they get a country artist and a mainstream artist or a pop artist together and they play a couple of songs of each and then they put on a night where you get to hear them play each other's songs and you know collaborate on those songs together and that is that's amazing so he did one of those with John Mayer uh, which was fantastic I've got a link to a video I'll put that in in this video later on because John Mayer has got some great comments about Keith and his playing uh, he also did a CMT Crossroads with John Fogarty, which is amazing. If you know anything about uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, John Fogarty, uh, that's an amazing episode to watch as well. Uh, the other, that I mean, there's loads of performances. The other one that I wanted to mention is he did one at the ARIA Awards here in Australia, which is like our version of the Grammys. And he did a performance with John Butler Trio. Uh, which, you know, it was, it was super cool because it's normally acoustic guitar, bass, drums, and they did a song. Um, oh, now I can't remember what it's called, uh, but did a, a song with John Butler Trio there. I'll, I'll try and link up to that in the comments in the um, in, below in the description because that's, that's a great one. 
Um, and then as far as collaborations go, um, he's worked with just about everybody. Uh, as I went through the list, you know, he's, he's had quite a long career. Um, I think he's 56 now at the time of recording this video. So he's he's been going for quite a long time, uh, but he's worked really hard. You know, he's it took him quite a long time to break into that scene. You know, he moved uh, from Brisbane to Nashville and got into the scene from there. And, uh, you know, he's done the hard yards. I like that. He didn't just get into some... You know, didn't get a lucky break, you know, or any of those things. He's really he's put in the hard yards, and I really like that about Keith. Uh, so I'm going to read a list of a bunch of the collaborations that he's had over time. So some of these might surprise you, some of them you probably know already. Uh, so we've got uh, Tim McGraw, Niall Rogers, Pink, Carrie Underwood, Alicia Keys, Pitbull, Butch Walker, John Shanks, Dan Huff, Brad Paisley, John Mayer, John Fogarty, The Fray. Rita Ora, Taylor Swift, Tommy Emmanuel, Miranda Lambert, Eric Church, Ed Sheeran, Julia Michaels, Lindsay L, Shy Carter, Harry Connick Jr., John Butler, Nelly Furtado, Jason Derulo, Dolly Parton, The Chicks, Martina McBride, Reba McIntyre, Sugarland, Jason Aldean, Vince Gill, Rita Wilson, Glenn Campbell, Post Malone, Jimmy Barnes, Chris Stapleton, and there's probably more that I haven't found yet, but that that's a hell of a list straight away. Um, and you know, if you're uh, yeah, if you're into anything, you can, you can really go down the rabbit hole and find all these these performances that Keith has done over the years. Uh, actually, there's another there's a couple of there's another live performance I just thought of um, where he plays uh, the Devil Went Down to Georgia, uh, and that's you know famously that's the Steve Vai song. Um, but he he does a version of it uh, on you know a Telecaster, a country guitar, and it, it's mind blowing. You know the I'll try and link that up in the description as well. Uh, now a couple of honourable mentions um, that you may not know. Um, Two thousand and nine, Keith Urban had a tour, and his opener for that tour was Taylor Swift, uh, and she talks about that a couple of times. And he's since you know collaborated with her on a few songs. Um, especially the re-records, like the Taylor's version of songs. He's been on those as well. Um, and she, you know, has, you know, spoken nothing but great words about him, which makes sense. Um, he also opened for the Eagles in 2010. He was on tour with the Eagles, which is, you know, country music doesn't really get much higher than the Eagles. So that's, that's a pretty good indicator of how good Keith is. Uh, 2013, he also played with the Rolling Stones. Uh, how many people can say that they got to do that? Um, not many. Uh, another live performance I've just thought of is uh, Keith Urban and John Mayer at Crossroads played Don't Let Me Down by The Beatles, which is amazing as well. And you can kind of see there's a bit of a live mishap there, actually. Uh, Keith is playing, and then his strap falls off when the end of his guitar is he's playing. And so you, you sort of see him cover, and John Mayer runs across puts the strap back on for him so he can keep on playing during a solo it happens uh so that's the you know happens to the best of us uh so i've that you know that's sort of my experience of keith um and he's he's working hard he's got a new record out now and uh, he's an amazing performer so hopefully if you if you don't know anything about keith maybe you just learn something there uh, and, you know, if you're a fan of Keith, you'll know all of this already. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, off to the next video. Thank you.